Hi there, Saber fans. Uh, Xander here uh, with a, another review for my newest lightsaber. Uh, this is also my first Saber Forge hilt. Um, so, without further ado, I present my saber, which I have dubbed Hihiru. Uh, sorry if I butchered the pronunciation, but you know, Japanese is hard. Um, it means uh, ashen color, or the color of ash, like gray. Um, so, this is an ASP saber. So, um, which means I, you select each section of it and kind of get to design your own, uh, based off of a pretty good selection of, uh, choices. Um, so let's go over each bit. Uh, you've got the Rebel emitter, uh, so it looks pretty much like Kanan Jarrus's from Rebels, uh, you know what that is. I don't know, I really like the shroud and the little hand guard. Like, I, I'm a fan of his lightsaber. So when I saw that hilt was an, or the emitter was an option, I went, yeah, sold. Um, then the switch section is the sorcerer switch. Um, I think it's called the sorcerer switch. I should have wrote them all down before I did this. Um, then we've got the body section number two uh, with a silver cover tech wheel. Um, and then we've got the rebel in cap pommel. Um, I don't know, altogether, I was going for a real streamlined appearance, very katana-ish, and I think I did a pretty good, decent job. It You grip it like I do a katana. It pretty much sits perfect. It's a real nice hilt. Um, I've got a black activation button. Uh, I don't know how well you can see it on camera since it's on black and a fake black button to cover where the recharge port would be had I gotten sound um, all I, this is just their warrior tier so just a stunt blade light no sound um, I don't know I might upgrade it to have sound later on um, but really this is going to be my dedicated dueling saber so I'm really not like I'll take it for cosplay and stuff like that and cons but this is going to be what I use to fight with at my saber class and stuff so really not worried about having sound maybe maybe one day I'll upgrade sound um 12 watt LED in white uh I don't know how well and see uh since I don't have a blade in it um the I did all the electronics myself uh with the ASP you can choose to have them put it all together but I was like uh, no I'll just do it myself save the 60 something bucks that it would have been more on the to do it for the, or for them to assemble all, all uh their plug and play system is super easy you don't need to know anything about electronics to do it i mean it's literally just plug two things to get plug two wires into stuff and cram everything into the hilt and you're good to go um now i did lock tight all three sections together except for the pommel of course so I can access the battery um, you don't have to do that but I do I would say it's recommended 
um, if you're going to be dueling with it because it will start kind of coming apart. Um, but just some blue Loctite it holds it together fine and still lets you open it apart or uh, open it back up if you need to to if you you know to do repairs or if you wanted to change out the LED or whatever because the LED you just pop it out disconnect the wires and you can pop in a different LED as long as it has the quick connects um, so you can really have whatever blade color you want in it uh, I just I don't know, I went with the white just because my robes that I wear a lot for cosplay are gray, and I really would see myself more of a gray Jedi. Uh, so, and I think, I, I don't know, I thought the white sabers that Ahsoka had was pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, uh, I've got a blade plug in it right now. Uh, don't know how well you can see in there. Uh, it's just a, one of my Ultra Sabers ones. Uh, I don't know. I thought about getting one of the really nice blade plugs that Saber Forge offers, but uh, I don't ha use them that often. Mainly when I'm just, you know, if I'm displaying the hilt without the blade, I really don't. So I'm not too worried about it. Um, so that's about all I've got for this. I was going to do an install portion uh, to show all the electronics, but I went. You know what? I couldn't do it prop. I wouldn't be able to do it properly because, well, I don't know that much about the stuff. I basically just plugged everything in and said, "Cool, it works." Um, but I've included in the description below a link to a fellow Saber enthusiast uh, who did a really good video on showing how to do the install uh, on one of the plug and plays on his channel. So uh, it was the one I watched to learn how to do it. Uh, so pop over there. You know, by all means, go over there, support his channel, check it out. He's got some really good videos uh, showing and showing off some really cool custom stuff. Uh, so that's all for talking about the saber. Now, got a present for you all. Um, you're going to get to see the saber in action. That's right. Um, I had the, uh, this. The following video is, you're about to see is uh, was filmed at my saber class last night, um, and it's me and one of the other members just doing a little sparring. Um, so big thanks for them uh, for recording the video. Um, it's Space City Sabers, by the way, uh, is the class. It, they're on Facebook. If you live in the Houston area, check them. Go check out their Facebook page. Really fun. <laughs> yeah, he's fighting with Beverly, so wait for him to take a drink or something. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, nice, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Um, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Um, and, I don't know, check back. Maybe we'll see some more sabers popping up on the review. And uh, Well, once again, thanks. Bye.